PFTPM Chris Sims unbuttoned the joint Mega Picks podcast week four prime time. All odds provided by Bet MGM Sunday Night Football. Kansas City Chiefs at the Buccaneers, whether it's at Tampa or in Minnesota, big factor. As we record this, we don't know. There's a chance by the time you see it, we will know. We're not making excuses here. We're not, we're not. And I hate that because we're not making excuses. Here are our excuses. We just don't know where the game's going to be played. I don't know that's a big factor for me, but we don't know. We do know that the Chiefs are currently a one point favorite over under a 45. Chris, who do you like? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to worry about where it's played or any of that. And I, I think a, a Brady led Bucks team is going to be focused and ready to go no matter what. And I think Mahomes and the Chiefs, the same thing. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to put too much. I wanted to see it in Tampa because we, we want that look. And of course, you know, the Super Bowl with these two teams is played there a few years ago. So that, that'll be great to see. Um, I, all right. We know, you know, neither offense is really hitting on all cylinders, right? The Chiefs were close last week. They definitely were. We know what Todd Bowles did to them in the Super Bowl. I think he's going to do that again. He's going to be patient and play back and see if Mahomes and Andy Reid have enough of a short passing game to take advantage of things that way. You know, that's where I'm going to be interested to see. I am. And let alone not only do that, but we know their, their defense got talent across the board. I mean, this is arguably the best defense in football and statistically, I think they're, they are right up there, right? If I'm, if I'm not stand, uh, correct, I'm just sitting here. They're right now the fourth best team in football as far as yards, but the number one scoring defense. All right. And then I think the thing I come back to, and we know Tampa's offense, you know, hasn't been what we expect either. It sounds like they're going to be healthier, right, Mike? Am I wrong with that? Receivers are, uh, I think we're going to well, have, have Mike Evans back. We're going to have Mike, Mike Evans because he was suspended. Right. right. So he'll be back. I doubt we see Chris Godwin. You know, so that that that's a, a question mark, certainly. But I come back to this. I do think the Bucks, you know, they're going to stay patient with the run to a degree. It's not going to be the last year Bucks where they're going to throw at 5,000 yards. But the one thing that still bothers me about the Chiefs is that Thursday night game against the Chargers. The Chargers with a good little intermediate passing game just really picked apart that defense and made it look very easy at times. And I think because of the Bucks defense – and Brady and all of that, I'm going to go Bucks 24-21. I'm very much on the fence with this game. I'm not going to lie. I wrote Chiefs 24-21 when I first wrote it down. And then I thought about it a little more, and I went with the Bucks. So I'm going Bucks 24-21. I, uh, I guess I can see it being 24-21 late. I trust the Chiefs to get a touchdown to win the game 28 28- to 24. This is a toss up game for me, though, and hopefully it'll be an exciting close game wherever it may be played. Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Fareed, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Peace out.